Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Rockin' Storytime! This week we're going to be talking about Maine author and illustrator Ashley Bryan, who you can see his books and his face behind me. He passed away this year, but it is his 99th birthday this year. Yay! So we're going to be singing some songs and reading some of his stories. Let's start off by clapping our hands. Can you clap your hands along with me at home? Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Great job, everyone. Now we're gonna stomp our feet. I know you can't see my feet, but here are my knees. One, two, are you ready? Here we go. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. <laughs> Great job, everyone. So today I think we'll say happy birthday. Can you say happy birthday? Happy birthday. <laughs> That's right, we'll use happy birthday for our bread and butter rhyme today. So for bread and butter, we clap our hands and then we clap our knees. Clap our hands, clap our knees. Can you do that along with me at home? Clap your hands, clap your knees. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say happy birthday as fast as we can. Happy birthday, happy birthday. I already messed up. Happy birthday, happy, oh, it's tricky. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. How are you doing at home? Let's try one more time, ready? Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. All right, let's try another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say happy birthday as slowly as we can. Happy birthday. Great job. So our first word starts with an H. <sighs> Happy, and our second word, birthday, starts with B. B, B, birthday. Great job, everyone. Let's do another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say happy birthday as loud as we can. Happy birthday. Great job. One more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say happy birthday as quiet as we can. Happy birthday. Good job, everyone. Let's see what our first Ashley Bryan book is today. We have the Ashley Bryan book, Beautiful Blackbird. Now this is a retelling he did that he wrote and, and he also did the pictures for of a Zambia story. So there's a story from the country of Zambia that people in that country tell to each other. So we have a lot of different stories that in different cultures people tell to one another. We have maybe the boy who cried wolf. We tell that. Sometimes we tell other people's stories, other country stories like the uh, little red riding hood we might tell or the three little pigs. Every place has their own stories, and this is a story from Zambia that was retold called Beautiful Blackbird. Let's see what happens. A long, long time ago, the birds of Africa were all colors of the rainbow. Clean, clear colors from head to tail, Oh, so pretty, pretty, pretty. Back then though, birds had no marks of black on their feathers. Do you see any marks of black? No, there isn't any marking on the birds at all. There was no mark of black on their feathers. From the tops of their heads to the tip of their tails, no markings of black, uh-huh. Whether large or small, Blackbird was the only bird who had it all. Can you see Blackbird there? There's Blackbird over in the corner. One day, Ringdove called the birds to a festival in the forest. He asked them all to meet by the lake where he lived. Birds flew in from all over with a flip-flop flapping of their wings and a whirring stirring in the air. They flew down to the lake from everywhere. 
The bird's colors were mirrored in the water. Is that what happens to us too when we stand by the water? Can you see yourself? That's right. The bird's colors were mirrored in the water. There were red, green, yellow, purple, orange, and blue, pink, then black, black, blackbird. Uh-huh, blackbird too. Wing dove called Kukuru, Kukaru. I have a question to ask you. Who of all is the most beautiful? The colored birds never raised their wing. They raised their beaks and began to sing. Blackbird stands out best of all. Blackbird is the most beautiful. His wings gleam all the colors of the sun. Blackbird is the most beautiful one. Do you see that? Blackbird's wings. When blackbird's in the sun, there's so many colors shining out of blackbird's wings. The bird circled blackbird in a beak and wing dance, singing, beak to beak, peck, 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 swing your wings and stretch your neck. Black is beautiful, uh-huh. Black is beautiful, uh-huh. Do you think you can join with me on that dance? We're gonna bend our neck like this, here we go. Beak to beak, peck, peck, peck. Now we're gonna spread our wings. Can you spread your wings? Spread your wings and stretch your neck. Good job. Black is beautiful, uh-huh. Black is beautiful, uh-huh. They broke out of the circle for the show claw slide. Tip, tap, toe to the left. Spin around. Can we spin around? Spin around, that's right. Tip, tap, tip to the right and stroke the ground. Can you touch the ground? Stroke the ground. Wings flip flap as you glide forward and backward in the show claw slide. Can we try that again? Let's see, we're gonna tap our toe, ready? Tip, tap, toe to the left, spin around. Toe tap, tip to the right and stroke the ground. Wings flip flap as you glide forward and backward in the show claw slide. When the birds were into their steps, Ring Dove took Blackbird aside. Oh, Blackbird, Blackbird, Kukuru, Kukaru, would you color me black so I'll be black like you? My neck is plain and that's a shame because Ring, Ring Dove is my given name. That's right, Ring Dove has the name Ring Dove, but there's no rings on Ring Dove. There's no markings at all. Blackbird said, color on the outside is not what's on the inside. You don't act like me, you don't eat like me. You don't get down to the groove and move your feet like me. But come tomorrow to the sun up dance. I'll brew some blackening in my medicine gourd. Then I'll swing a ring around your neck to go with your name. The next day the birds gathered. Blackbird stirred the blackening brew in the medicine gourd. He stirred it round and round. Can you stir with me at home? Stir, stir it round and round. Then he dipped his feathered brush into the pot. With his free wing, he spun Ring Dove around, holding his brush to Ring Dove's neck. Can you see what he's made? He's painted on Ring Dove. Ring Dove sang, Kukuru, Kukaru, see what a swinging ring of black can do. Oh, do you like the ring? Ring Dove looks different, don't they? Blackbird bowed to the crowd as the chirping rose. Ring Dove's black is beautiful. Beak to beak, peck, peck, peck. He's just like Blackbird around the neck. Oh, Blackbird, can we have some blackening too? We all need what your black can do. You're such an artist with your feathered brush. A touch of your black will be good for us. Blackbird said, 
Tomorrow, I'll mix the rest of my black root in my large medicine gourd. I'll give what I can give until all gives out. What do you think they'll look like tomorrow? The birds danced the sundown dance and went to nest. All through the night, the birds dreamed of black. Black markings on their heads, tails, wings, front and back. Oh, black is beautiful. Black, black, black. Blackbird rose at sunup and took to his wing. On, oh, way up high, their colors filled the sky with flip-flop flapping of their wings, a stirring, whirring of the air. They flew down to the lake from everywhere. Ring Dove carried Blackbird's large gourd and set it down. You see this large gourd? Do you remember what Blackbird uses with the large gourd? What is this for? It's where Blackbird has the paint, right? The black paint. Let's see, Blackbird stirred. Can you stir with me? Stirred with a stick in his wing and said, we'll see the difference a touch of black can make. Just remember, whatever I do, I'll be me and you'll be you. Blackbird tipped the feathered brush into the pot and tapped out dots. Some were large, some were small, close together or far apart. It was a challenge to Blackbird's art. With strokes long and short, he painted stripes. Blackbird swept his brush strokes steady. He drew lines only when his brush was ready and full with black, black brew. Look at them. Do they all have black dots? Everyone here? And they all look different, don't they? Each one looks different. The paint in the gourd was getting low. Blackbird still had more to go before he had decorated the birds with black, one and all. Save some for us, cried the small birds. We've been in line and we were on time. We won't step back till we get a touch of black to uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, he's running out of paint. Do you think he'll have enough for everyone? Ring Dove tipped the gourd and Blackbird slipped his brush way, way in. He brushed the rest of the birds with marks and arcs. He black tapped the last small bird in the flock. Then Blackbird sang, I painted plenty, plenty, plenty. The gourd is now empty, empty, empty. Did he paint every bird? He did, he painted every single bird. They all have marks of black. The birds surrounded Blackbird and sang, Our colors sport a brand new look. A, a touch of black was all it took. Our beautiful, oh, sorry, our beautiful black, uh-huh, uh-huh, black is beautiful, uh-huh. The end. Great listening, everyone. Now, you may have noticed, Ashley Bryan really likes to use collage for his art. So he likes to cut out shapes in paper and put them into his creations. So at the end of the book, he even took a picture. These are his mother's shears. So these are his mother's scissors that she used to use. And now he used after that to cut his paper for his art. So maybe later today, you can give a try and make some collages with some cut out pieces of paper. All right, let's go ahead and sing some bird songs. So I have some birds here today. Can you see what color this bird is? It's red, that's right, it's a red bird. And does it have the markings of the black bird on it? It does, it has the black markings. So we're gonna sing a little bird song and for this, we're gonna flap our wings. You think you can flap your wings at home with me? Here we go. <laughs> flap your wings like a little red bird. Flap your wings like a little red bird. Flap your wings like a little red bird. Flap, 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 flap. 
Good job. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, we have, what color is this one? Is it a blue bird? It is, it's a blue bird. And does the blue bird have the markings of the black bird on it? It does, over its eyes. And is it the same markings that the red bird has? No, they each get their own markings. Let's sing about the blue bird. Are you ready to flap your wings with the blue bird? Here we go. Flap your wings like the little blue bird. Flap your wings like the little blue bird. Flap your wings like the little blue bird. Flap, 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 flap. Nice job, let's see what we have next. We have, ooh, what color is this bird? Yellow, that's right, a yellow bird. And is, does the yellow bird have black markings from the black bird? It does, on its wings, on its wings. And is it the same as the bluebird's marks? No, different marks. Let's go ahead and pretend we are a little yellow bird. Are you ready? Flap your wings like the little yellow bird. Flap your wings like the little yellow bird. Flap your wings like the little yellow bird. Flap, 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 flap. <laughs> Great job. Let's see which one we have next. We have, ooh, Oh, upside down, we have the, what color is this one? Orange, that's right, it's an orange bird. And does the orange bird have marks of the black bird? It sure does. Is it different than the yellow bird? Mm-hmm. Are you ready to flap your wings like the orange bird? Here we go. <laughs> flap your wings like the little orange bird. Flap your wings like the little orange bird. Flap your wings like the little orange bird. Flap, 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 flap. <laughs> Good job, let's do one more. We have, oh, what color is this bird? That's right, it's a green bird. And does this bird have the markings of the black bird on it? It sure does, it sure does. Let's go ahead and flap our wings like the green bird. Here we go. Flap your wings like the little green bird. Flap your wings like the little green bird. Flap your wings like the little green bird. Flap, 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 flap. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Now you may have noticed I have one, two blackbirds behind me. I thought we would sing a little song about two blackbirds. You may have done this at home before. Can you put out two fingers in front of you? These are gonna be two blackbirds. One, two. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Can you put it behind your head like this? Bonk. Good job, fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Nice job, everyone. Here, we're going to try some other voice, uh, other voices, other, uh, other, uh, other birds. We're going to try other birds. Here we go. Two little black birds flying in the sky. One named low. Can you put your finger down low? One named low and one named high. Fly away low. Fly away high. Come back low. Come back high. Good job, everyone. Let's try another. Two little blackbirds sitting on a pole. One named fast, whoop. Can you put it behind your head really fast? Whoop, one named fast, one named slow. Fly away fast. Fly away slow. Come back fast. Come back slow. Good job, everyone. All right, let's do another. Here we go. Oh, let's do cloud. Two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud. One named quiet. The other named loud. Fly away, quiet. Fly away, loud. Come back, quiet. Come back, loud. Good job, everyone. Let's do one more. Are you ready? Two little blackbirds sitting on a car. One named near and one named far. Can you put your finger really far away from you? One named far. Fly away near. Fly away far. Come back near. Come back far. Good job, everyone. That was wonderful. Think, see if you can think of any more opposites you can try at home of different kind of birds. Fast and slow birds, loud and quiet birds, early and late birds. 
There are all kinds of opposites out there to try. Let's read our second and last story today. This one is not written by Ashley Bryant, but is illustrated by Ashley Bryant. This is a song written by George David Weiss and Bob Thiesel, and it is illustrated by Ashley Bryant and is called What a Wonderful World. You see all the kids getting ready, making some art. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. What do you see on this page? This page is full of things to see. There's all kinds of plants and animals on land and in the water. I see skies of blue. Oh, what are these? Clouds of white. That's right, they're clouds. The bright blessed day and dark sacred night. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. What do you see on this one? Lots of other animals, huh? Some jungle animals. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people walking by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I see babies crying. I watch them grow. Are you growing too? Yeah, I bet you are. You're all getting bigger at home, just like the babies. I watch them grow. They'll learn much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The end. Great listening, everyone. I highly suggest looking up some of Ashley Bryant's books. He was such a wonderful, kind man and was just a great person to read the books of and to be around. He was absolutely wonderful, and I wanted to make sure we wished him a happy 99th birthday this week. Let's end our story time today with head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Are you ready to get on your feet with me? Here we go. Can everyone find their head? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Great job, everyone. You think we can go a little faster? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Great job, everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. <laughs> Have a great week. I hope you get out and play, read lots of stories, sing lots of songs, and wish Ashley Bryant a happy birthday this week. Can't wait to see you all next week. Bye-bye.